For many adults and children, using an insulin syringe is a necessary daily routine. To a first-timer, it can be a scary undertaking, but with some practice and knowledge of basic facts and safety requirements, it can be a simple and easy process. It is important you give the right type of insulin and the right amount of insulin. Most people are on more than one type of insulin. Make sure you have the correct vial of insulin. Very important to always use a new syringe for each dose. An insulin syringe can come in three different sizes that each hold different amounts of insulin. Make sure you understand the markings on your syringes so you do not give the wrong amount of insulin. You will need an insulin syringe, insulin, an alcohol pad, and a sharps container. Wash your hands with soap and water thoroughly. Next, use the alcohol pad to clean the rubber stopper on the insulin vial. Then, remove the orange cap from the insulin syringe. Pull back the syringe plunger until the top edge of the plunger lines up with the correct number of insulin units you will give. The lines on the syringe measure the insulin units. Now, push the needle through the rubber stopper of the insulin vial. Then push the plunger down, forcing air into the vial. Leave the needle in the vial. Turn the vial and syringe upside down and hold together in one hand at eye level. Using the other hand, pull plunger down to the unit line slightly beyond the dose of insulin you will give. This pulls insulin into the syringe. Next, check the syringe for air bubbles. Small bubbles are not dangerous, but take up space, preventing you from getting your full insulin dose. If any are present, Push the plunger all the way up, pushing the insulin back into the vial. Pull the plunger back down to the correct amount of insulin in syringe. This process may have to be repeated two or three times to remove all the air bubbles. Take the needle out of the vial. You are now ready to give the insulin. Taking the time to learn these important steps is necessary, but with routine practice you will gain confidence.